Barnavas told me about the arena. I should give it a go. I remember. Shh. Do you hear that? I hear nothing but the ramblings of a sad old man. Old? Surely you can tell my ears from your ears alone? I've used my eyes as well. They tell me you could hear the crowds from all the way out here. The thirst never quenched. Thirst for what? Combat in the arena, Mistios. Life and death in their purest forms. Love, hate, glory and ruin. All there for the crowds to devour. My name is Skura. Cassandra, I found a note that mentioned this place. And you. It called for fighters from all over the Greek world. These walls no longer shake because there are no heroes of the arena left. The crowds don't care about real fighters anymore. They just want blood. But you, Mystios, you could change that. You could make them care. And win riches beyond your wildest dreams, of course. If you were to fight and win. Perhaps I can make the arena walls shake once again. Good. My blades and I are ready. Choose your opponent. I'll fight this king of the bandits. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! Do you hear? You must have done well in there. Did you not see? I haven't seen a fight from inside the arena in years. But if the crowds are cheering like that, perhaps I have a hero on my hands after all. Of course they cheer for me. Who could resist cheering for a warrior legend in the arena? Maybe the stories I've heard are true. Skura? Yeah. Ah, Mistyas. 
I knew it as soon as I laid eyes on you. You could be... could be hero of the arena, like Skura. If you keep fighting, I foresee a long and profitable career. For both of us. Talk to Skura when you're ready to continue. Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal. Your blade, Mystheus. The spear. It reminds me of long ago. Of the Persians. This spear has killed many Persians. As have I. On the battlefield and in the arena. I have to go. You've done a warrior's job in the arena. Keep it up. Thank you. 
Choose your opponent. I'll hunt Ivanthi in the arena. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! A warrior in the arena doesn't have many privileges. 
outside those of pleasure, fame, and glory. Tell me, Mistyus, do you have anyone close to you? Friends, family, lovers? I have people in my life. People that are important to me. Do you have that as well? Hmm. My daughter's very important to me. I won't push any further. But come see me fight. I envy you, Mistyos. You have everything to gain. Don't let it slip away. I'm glad to see you again. The bull put up quite a fight, but his pelt is yours. You are remarkable. Years of training made me a warrior. Life as a Mystius has honed those abilities. Then, at the least, you should applaud yourself for your dedication to your art. I'll return when I have more pelts.
Beast Slayer. I'm glad to see you again. This boar was far harder to kill than the Calidonian one. But I've yet to meet a pig that can't be skewered. The gods chose well when they sent you to me. I follow where the gods lead, and they led me to you. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. How so? We will talk of the gods and their wishes once the hunt is done. I'll return when I have more pelts. Bear. I'm glad to see you again. The pelt from Callisto the Bear. I wish I'd had the chance to see this creature in the wild. It must have been stunning. It was. But there are other things on this earth far more beautiful. And wild? If not, then where would the challenge be in pursuing it? I've never seen 
seen such a monster. This beast isn't even native to these lands. I'm glad to see you, Daphne. I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed, or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. Here, the Hyena's pelt. Take it. These flea-ridden carrion eaters disgust me. We must learn to see the beauty in all things. You're right. It's just an animal doing what's in its nature. Aren't we all? That should be all the pelts. Yes. But your trial is not yet over. What do you mean? You have proven yourself a mighty hunter in the eyes of Artemis. But there is one creature you have yet to defeat. This animal is no simple prey. 
Meet me and my sisters on the cliff overlooking our village for your final test. Wait! Why the secrecy? Because it's more fun this way. Learned about the code of Gordin in the Agogi as a child. Mistyos. What's going on? This job will be dangerous and could get us both killed. All my jobs are dangerous. This job is about power. The power to rule Gortin by starting a war. We can't start a war on our own. We'll need supporters and soldiers. I have support from the captain of the army and the region's upper class. Okay. Then tell me your plan. I am the head of the Bull Council, and according to our code, after a war is lost, the Council chooses our next leader. Me. And you need some heads to roll to get things started? Just one head. There's a visiting herald from Festos. No doubt here to broker peace with Cortin. His murder will guarantee that war is the only option for Gordin. And my fee? You'll be paid very handsomely for your efforts. I'll start the war for you, but first, I need more information. Before the war can truly begin, we'll need your help weakening Gordin. Destroy their supplies, steal their valuables, and kill that Malacca's visiting herald. I'll start this war for you. I hope you know what you're doing. We've been planning this for a while. See me when everything is complete. I see him. in this area. Gordon is weak and ready for new leadership. Praise the gods. Here is a reward for your troubles. After war, the Bull Council chooses a new leader. I have quite the deal to offer you, if you're open to a business partnership. Where you make Drachmi and I make Drachmi? That kind of partnership? Exactly! Equal work, equal pay. What exactly did you have in mind? I craft bows from rare, exotic items. I've been commissioned to make one using only the finest quality fangs. One from a lynx, one from a lioness, and one from a shark. I could make one for you too, if you'll help. I'll fetch the fangs for you if you tell me where to find them. Those sharks have teeth, not fangs. A mere technicality. A fang bow sounds better. Now, there were questions? I'll get them for you. Thank you, Mistyos. Come <laughs> on. 
Mistios, my humble hands have been commissioned to craft a bow using but a single fang from each a lioness, a lynx, and a shark. Do you have any? I have the fangs you need, if you're willing to negotiate a fair price for them. Of course. I know the value of a good tooth. Would your own mighty bow, crafted from fangs, be considered a fair price? It would have great bite. Deal. <laughs> a bow worthy of Artemis. Help! What do you need? Peace of mind and revenge. Can you bring me this, Mistios? We will give you all the drachmi we have. I need more information first. The followers of Ares are burning our villages and claiming our families for their sacrifices. Those Malakes are making trouble all over the Greek world. That's why I want you to make them suffer like we have. So our living can find peace and our dead can be... be avenged. My spear is yours. Thank you, Mistios. You have no idea how much this means to us. I'll need to know where the followers are hiding. The followers of Ares live in caves among the mountain ranges of Zeus's playground. I'll flush them out. of Ares are with Hades now. Thank you, Mistios. How can we repay you? <sighs> Nothing is free in this world, especially my time. I understand, Mistios. I only wish we could give you more. You there, Mistios! What's on your mind, old man? I'm dying, Mistios. I can feel it in my bones. But first, there's something I need to do. Will you help an old man fulfill his dying wish? I can offer you what drachmi I have left. I won't deny an old man his final wish. What is it? I always promised my wife I'd take her to see the red flowers on the summit of the mountain in Zeus's playground. It's a beautiful place. Great view. But she met the ferryman before me, Mistios. I never made good on my promise. It was always one thing or another, you know? Children, war, what have you. It was a tough situation. You did your best. You're a kind soul, Mistios. But I failed her. I did. So, what do you want me to do? I need you to pick some of those red flowers for me from the summit of Mount Ida. ...so I can take them to my wife when I meet Hades. Just a few would do. Bring them back to me here. I'll be waiting, Mistios. And... ...I don't have long. I understand. <sighs> this must be the place the old man spoke of. There it is. The flower. The flowers! I should hurry back to the old man near Gortin. <laughs> Hades claims another. In all my life, I've never seen him so peaceful. I hope he's found matter. Those flowers, are they...? Yes. He asked me to fetch them. <laughs> you silly old man. Is this why you left Pefka? To fetch matter flowers so far from home? <laughs> Silly, stubborn old man. Here. Thank you so much, Mistios. He made a promise to his wife, and I made a promise to him. I don't have anything to offer you. Mater must be so glad you brought her flowers. 
He never did once he was alive. You've got to free me before those vultures peck my eyes out. Not to mention the wolves. I saw them in the bushes earlier. You called me Mystios. You must know my help comes at a price. You don't look like you're in much of a position to pay. Why it? Hear me out. The people who did this to me, they took everything I had and left me for dead. They've got plenty of other treasures and trinkets at their hideouts too. Free me and I'll tell you where to find them. You mean the treasures at the followers of Eri's hideout? Oh. The treasure underwater. Yeah, I got it all. What else do you have to offer? Well, no, th there's much more. Quick, Mistios, untie me. <sighs> My luckiest wolves. <laughs> <laughs> You're alive and free. Now, tell me about my reward. Those Malakis took my only prized possession, a family heirloom, an amulet handed down from my mother. They keep their spoils underwater in a cave just west of here. You mean this amulet? Why, yes. Are there any other valuables? Ah. Uh... It's not called freedom because it's free. I'd say you owe me for my services. How... how about I work for you? I know how to fight. The followers of Ares gave me that much, at least. What do you say? Okay, you work for me now. I don't see much value in you, but it's better than nothing. I'll see you back at your ship then, Commander. Not before putting on some clothes. would have been a goner there if it wasn't for you. Lucky I came by. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Epi. Well, Epizilos, but my friends call me Epi. Not that I have friends, necessarily. I'm Cassandra. Charmed. You have the look of someone used to being out in the world. You have the look of someone who... Uh, spends a lot of time reading. I don't look like much, it's true. But when discovery knocks, what other choice is there? I have, in my possession, a Mykinian tablet that leads to a sacred burial site. I'm calling it the Cave of the Oracle. Good for you. Mykinians were known for their elaborate grave sites, full of precious things. How precious? Ancient jewelry, ceremonial swords and daggers, so very precious. If you escort me, I'll show you. How can I turn down the promise of precious things? The fates have delivered you onto my path, and thus we travel together. <laughs> hey, where are you going? The fates have been known to have a sense of humor. <laughs> a new hero is fortuitous. Glad to hear it. So, you dig through book row? No. Well, yes and no. I dig through dirt, too. That's what farmers do. I uncover our history. Sometimes, hopefully this time, it will uncover ancient wonders. I hate to break it to you, but clay pots and dirt aren't that wondrous to most. I've dedicated my life to it. It's so much more than treasure to be looted. Is it, though? It's who we are. Knowing where we come from tells us where we are headed. You educated people in your riddles. Some people don't care about the past. They only want to steal something that will make them a few drachmi. Imagine that! Hard to believe. My peers are no more than treasure hunters and art dealers. Well, you did mention precious jewels. These ruins and relics are notoriously hard to find. I found this one through clever searching and deduction. Tell me more about it. Mykinians held specific rituals. 
Some tales speak of objects made by the gods. Yes, the gods like to play their hand on occasion. Think of this, Mystios. How would you like to have had the gods help you in battle? A good warrior doesn't need any help from the gods or anyone else. True, true. But think of what we might find there. You think we'll find something with this power? See? Si. Now are you interested? I certainly am. The Oracle of Trophonius. I wonder if the cult's working here, too. What's this? Stay back. They seem drawn to this place. I hadn't expected that. Does this have to do with whatever that name was you said? The Mykenians? I don't see how they could know. It must be related to Trophonius. I'll observe them and see what I can learn. Fine. I'll search further inside. Wait! Take this steely piece. See if there are markings that match it. of a burial site. Mules are buried in higher places of honor. The steely piece looks like it can be placed This is... unexpected. <sighs> Something's blocking this. This is more elaborate than I thought. See what we have. Hmm. This statue depicts a warrior. Oh, the markings match Epi's stone. Epi will want to see all of this.
we're in the right place. Unfortunately, my friend, it's been looted. All I found was this armor. That is highly significant. The Mykenians were a warrior culture, you know. So this must be a warrior's tomb. <laughs> well, it's a decent piece, but where's the rest of it? Hmm. That was only one part of the stele. If we can find the others, I can decipher the text. Maybe that will reveal more armor. The rest of the stele you speak of could be anywhere. If I can find clues for where to look, are you interested in finding the other stele pieces? I'll look for the others. Excellent! Now, I need to see those markings. Let's go inside. I didn't expect the steely keystone to actually be a... key. I wonder what happens when all of them are in place. Even with only part of the steely, I can... St what does it say? Um... I think that says, of the gods. Really? To think you were someone yelling for help not long ago. Look at me now. I think you're going to need all of them, though. According to this, it seems that the steely pieces have been deliberately separated. I wonder why they were separated on purpose. It doesn't matter if we can find them. Will you look for the other steely pieces? Of course. Where should I look? According to this, the next steely is... Oh, better you than me. I can't swim. Explore the ruins of Arni. Time for me to go. Your clue was right. I found a part of the stele, along with another piece of armor. There must be a piece of armor with each missing stele. But why? This section here refers to a ritual. It doesn't explain why the armor was separated and hidden with the stele piece. Uh, maybe that was part of the ritual? We need to find the other stele pieces. Are you ready? If we found these, then we'll find the other stele pieces too. I'll go look. Even with the full keystone in place, some of the meaning may be lost on us. I have faith in you. Oh! You won't believe what this section says. Of the primordial gods. Primordial. That's interesting. That's ancient. It could just be a prayer on behalf of the warrior. That's what I thought to do. Until I read this part. There is more? It mentions that the ritual will be activated. What ritual? I have no idea. I'm presuming it means we need all of the steelies in place before something happens. Do you have the location for the missing piece? This text is hard to make sense of. It appears to be a warning. Be careful when you explore the tomb of Orion. I'll be careful. Time to go. <sighs> Whatever you're after, you're too late. They're all gone. Dead or mad. I don't understand. Who did this to you? I don't understand it myself. My brethren and I were drowned to this place, but madness took over. We fought over the artifact. One of them grabbed it and ran. Grabbed the steely? Searched the caves. That's where they'll be hiding. Beware the... <coughs> They're beyond reason. <laughs> the gods be 
speak only to me! You can't have it! Was this Dili influencing them in some way? There may be some truth in this lore. Oh, is that blood on it? It's otherwise undamaged. There are people claiming that it speaks to them. What could do that? Strange. I don't hear anything. Do you? Words of madmen. Perhaps the next pieces will tell us more. This one needs a good cleaning. Let's hope the remaining ones are fine. I'll search for the remaining stillies. My peers will finally listen to what I have to say. It says the ritual will activate something. But what? What will happen when we have all the pieces? Will it lead to a treasure? Some of the translation is lost on me. This passage speaks of worth. Hmm. What else? Um... This passage mentions something about inner vision. But the meaning is unclear. It's almost translated. Why aren't you happy? You tell me others are hearing things. They think it speaks to them. Yet I hear nothing. I feel nothing. This is an important find. You said so yourself. Why does it matter what others say or feel? I know. I see that it's important from a logical perspective. But what if I can't experience it? And this mention of worth, what if it means I'm not worthy? What if the gods are not worthy of us? Look, we aren't done yet, right? So wait and see. You're right. Time to dust yourself off and focus. You're right. We should carry on. There are two locations to explore this time. There is a temple in the city of Orchomenos. It's near the harbor. The other stili is difficult to pinpoint. There are ruins along the coastline, near the altar for Iphigenia. All right then, and cheer up. We're almost done. Beating me to it. I'll have to take a closer look. Is nothing sacred? Ancient and valuable relics were housed in this temple. Now the scum has taken it all and burned it down. They burned it to cover their tracks. The scum ran off towards town with an armload of our most sacred items. Likely in the beggar's quarter, from the look of him. These pots were broken before the fire. Battered scarf. I'm looking for someone with torn clothes. Hmm. His clothes are torn, and they match the color. I hate the water. I've given up fishing. I serve the gods now. Fishing's a worthy occupation. What caused such a change? A sudden storm. As if the gods themselves stepped on Earth. The ship keeled over and sank. Right out there. The gods saved me. Did this happen after you picked up a stone relic? Well, I might have used some temple rock as a boat anchor. Nothing of value. It's good that the gods delivered you to safety.
I found the final steely pieces. All of the armor has been found as well. I can hardly contain myself. This will be life-changing, hero. Primordial gods, worth, inner vision. What can it all mean? We'll know soon enough when you finish translating. Yes, you're right. The steely needs to be assembled. Come. This is the cusp of a great discovery. Will the gods speak to us? What will I say to them? What will they say to me? Does it matter? Perhaps when you read it. Yes, yes. Hmm. Only those who possess inner vision, a gift of the primordial gods, will be deemed worthy to wield power of the great Vipsii. Vipsii? What do you make of that? I am amazed. I don't understand. There's no change that I see. It's the same place as when we first arrived. Look around you. I see nothing. What do you see? The room has come to life. The gods are speaking to us. How can that be? Why can't I see any of this? Why should the gods not present themselves to me? I promise you, I have no idea. Is it because I'm not worthy? Do you have inner vision? It isn't fair. Epi, you have the tomb. And there will be other discoveries. Enough. Just leave me. Can you please leave? I don't understand. 